Hey minions, welcome to day 6 of the 12 Days of Smashness, focusing on Angry Pillagers. This is an oft forgotten card because it is in the most ignored faction of the most ignored expansion, Orcs and Munchkin. But it is a good card that shows how VP should earn in a set that gets it wrong so very often. However, there is an unanswered question for this card that I want to talk about, and it has to do again with unfortunate wording, not intent. And admittedly, this is super iffy because of the lack of concise definitions in the rulebook, relying on a few sentences that are scattered. If you have at least three more power there than the runner-up, gain one VP. If you are the only player there, is there a runner-up? Could you still gain the VP? The rulebook doesn't address this cleanly, as it's a classic zero versus null debate, but the general public consensus is no. And while I agree with that interpretation, I don't like the outcome because it goes against what the orcs want and have. They have a decent amount of removal, 6 cards total in varying degrees of usefulness. They have the tools to solo, so why punish them for doing so and preventing their double feature? Due to the issues with their hand size having 5 specials, they need an opportunity to use them as easily as possible, and they definitely have room for their buff in their results. This is an unfortunate casualty of the approach that uses retroactive wording instead of clear intent, especially when the rule isn't clear and a rule clarification is needed either way. It's unfortunate because solo VP would be an incentive to destruction in a way that makes sense and doesn't inherently slow the game down, but I guess we will never know since Munchkin is largely abandoned. But I'm curious, do you even know that the card had an open question and what do you think is the answer? Let me know in the comments and check back tomorrow.